leveled by ISIS last year, retaken by Iraqi forces last month, Nimrud lies in ruins. For 3,000 years, these mythical winged bulls, half man, half beast, guarded palace doorways. Now they are gone, symbols of an ancient empire destroyed by ISIS. These ruins are all that remain. History obliterated, and ISIS wanted the world to watch. With sledgehammers and power tools, what they didn't blow up, they tore down by hand. Leila Saleh watched the video dozens of times, but it doesn't make it any less painful. Visiting Nimrud as a schoolgirl inspired her to become an archaeologist. She spent years excavating the site. It's around 10 years to restore the site again. Hard to imagine now, but it was one of the richest archaeological sites in the world. Today, this trove of treasures lies unprotected, open to looters. Generations of Sheikh Ali al Bayati's family looked after the site. How does it make you feel to see this cultural heritage destroyed? It's like uh, when your mother is killed or your father is killed and your history is killed at the same time. But this teenager is fighting back with art. 17 year old Nina's Thabit has been sculpting replicas of Nimrod's most precious pieces. 10 days, 10 days. A lot of work. Yes. The task ahead, figuring out what's lost for good. I mean, there are uh, still a, a rich places there or a priceless uh, objects there uh, under the ground. And what might one day be rebuilt. Lucy Kafanov, NBC News, Nimrud, Iraq.